Zababon gwamnan jihar Kano Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje Kadamun Islam OFR ya kirkiri kwamitin gudanar da wannan biki na cikar Kano shekaru 50 karkashin jagorancin mai girma mataimakin gwamna Professor Hafiz Abubakar wannan kwamiti ya kunshi muhimman mutane da dama yan asalin jihar Kano kama daga yan kasuwa yan siyasa malaman addini manyan yan boko ma'aikatan gwamnati na dada na yanzu game da masu sarautar gargajiya Bukin ya fara da ranar farko wato Asabar 20 ga watan Mayu shekara ta 2017 taron yan jaridu na duniya karkashin jagorancin mai girma mataimakin gwamna Dr. Hafiz Abubakar a dakin taro na Africa House Thank you. 
Mariyadda aka yi bayani a baya an girgire jihar Kano a watan Mayu na shekarar 1967 ta kuma fara aiki a ranar 1 ga watan Aprilin shekarar 1968 tarihi ya nuna cewa kafin a girgire jihar Kano tana daya daga cikin kasashen Hausa 7 sannan ta kasance a matsayin lardi a zamanin turan mulkin mallaka zamanin da sarakuna ke mulki a Kano ya fara ne tun a shekarar 1999 Lokacin da Bagauda Haji kan baya jidda ya kafa daular Hausa inda ya zama sarkin Kano na farko. Haka zalika a dai wannan rana ta asabar da misalin karfe 4 na yamma an gudanar da gagarumin wasan kwallon kafa. Tsakanin hukumar zatarwa ta jihar Kano da kuma ƴan majalisin dokoki na jihar Kano. I'm 
kafuwarta Kano take a matsayin cibiyar kasuwanci da masana'antu da harkokin siyasa wanda hakan ya ja hankalin baki zuwa Kano saboda halaye na saukin kai da tarar baki Kano ta cika shekaru 50 da kirkira a ranar Asabar 27 ga watan Mayu na shekarar 2017 a ranar ta biyu wato Lahadi 21 ga watan Mayu 2017 an gudanar da taro na tattaunawa da muhimman mutane
society can be seen as a product of its internal environmental, political, administrative, and social cultural factors. This is to say that you cannot talk about governance without looking at what the government of a particular society does. The Honorable has seeks to provide a solution to these challenges. It has increased the yields and income of farms. It has scaled 125 fold over the past five years. And it provides a model that can be replicated by other private investors. The competitive value proposition dramatically increased in three months to 3.5 times the national average by impacting all the key leaders, yields, input costs, and quality prices. The global life enhances the human capital of its members by a fund of a single program that provides access to critical knowledge. The result is that we have had positive outcomes for members whose incomes have increased in average to $555 per year. And they are now able to invest in children's education, farmland assets, household nutrition, and livelihood enhancing assets. Energy is one of our greatest challenges as noted earlier. We need to encourage private entrepreneurs to invest in the power sector. On our part, we are involved with the Black Friday Group, and the chairman of that group, and we are in the process of setting up a 100 megawatt solar plant in Japan. Let me, at this point, thank His Excellency, Governor of the Black Energy, for providing support for the takeoff of the Black Friday Project. The state government has already provided us with a location for this project in partnership with Naruti, and we are now part and appointed to put in our best efforts to fast track all regulatory approvals at the federal level. I am accepted to serve as chairman of both the Golgotha and the Black Friday because I believe fixing power and agriculture are critical components of any initiative we can bring in the government to the state. The only condition I gave the promoters for accepting to be chairman was that we must invest in the development of the We would like to seize this opportunity to call on His Excellency the Governor to initiate consensus building processes so that the recommendations of the Great Summit will be owned by the people. We have many kind of energies in various sectors of the economy and we need their support to foster this consensus and have a further blueprint for social economic development. We are ever also appealing to the state government to provide the necessary legal instruments that will sustain the implementation of this blueprint. We are in an era of competition. As we can see, some states are moving fast. Apart from Lagos, some states in the south are forging initiatives that will give them advantage using the available funding sources of the Bank of Industry, the Bank of Agriculture, and the Energy Export Program. We have great challenges that we must overcome in this difficult period in Nigeria. But with consensus and the political leadership, we can have greater leverage in negotiation and networking for the world interest of the state.
hamsin har yau kina da ken dubo ko da mai kazo ai an bi ka kanan dabo babba har ila yau a dai wannan rana ta uku wato litinin an gudanar da gagarumin bikin al'adun gargajiya na nuna fasahar kere-kere da kirkira wanda aka gudanar a gidan dan Hausa the former duty governor and Kano State, Lord of the Light, Jani, Mohamed Gordo, representative of His Royal Highness, the Emma of Kano, heavily represented by Yanima Kano, the Honorable Senior Special Assistant, Mr. President, in Assembly Matters, Honorable Abdul Rahman, Tao Sumela, our APC Chairman, Raja Abdullah Abbas, Honorable Commissioners, and members of Kano State Executive Council, advisors. Honorable Commissioner of Police, Kano State Police Command, members of the Kano State at 50th Anniversary Committee, especially the co-chair of the Culture Subcommittee, and also the chairman of TOFA, Enterprises and Bang Adalam Kanu and the Chairman of Kanu State Investment Promotion Agency. As a distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum. With gratitude, Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. I welcome you to this very important occasion, which is an official opening of arts and crafts and photo exhibition as part of the activities lined up to commemorate our 50th anniversary of Kano State. Apart from being the center of commerce, Kano is also proud to be one of the leading states that uphold our culture and tradition. So many successes of our cultural groups at both national and international competitions can be a testimony to this is the most recent one at the Africa Drum Festival where our contingent came first. We salute you for that. This exhibition is primarily organized to showcase our rich cultural heritage, including arts and crafts. It is also educative in the sense that it will show how our craftsmen make tools such as farm implements, dyeing, horse regalia, weaving, and different types of traditional food that are highly nutritious. Such food items on display here include dambu, burasa, kumkaso, dashishi, sanasir, Alkubus and even Ose Dayaji. You know, a fellow Minerva man is always looking for Ose Dayaji. <laughs> they are also on display seasonal medicinal foods like Zogale, Rama, and the Yakwa. The traditional snacks items like Dubulang, Greba, Algaragis, 
Alakaki Dakwa, among others, are items given out as a mark of generosity and friendship are also exhibited here. In addition, on display is a leather which was traded in North Africa, Europe, etc., and mistakenly regarded by Europeans to have originated from Morocco, whereas it is Kano leather. Also put on exhibition are the pictures of past and current leaders, both military and elected ones, together with their cabinet members and a brief of their modest contributions to the development of our dear state. I want to use this medium to assure all present here that the state government will continue to work with stakeholders in this sector so as to help the inaccessible economic resources that can be found in the culture and the tradition industry. I therefore express my appreciation to members of the organizing committee and stakeholders for organizing such an exhibition which I am sure will boost the economic standard of our people and maintain our tradition and cultural heritage. When they they take a chicken, a woman like a shilly at home, we became Tikashi Kala, the Kala Hamsun, Kajar Kano. When then, shilly the Aki, when they came, they knew that Allah Adam Munagaragaja, they knew that Kaye Kumunagaragaja, they knew that my Eli Hikima Mutodin, Eli Eli, Kumana Nuna, Eli Abunchi the Muki the She. May daddy one day keep a word down with some of the people who have a good and other money look at little low she will mean the top of that you are and chicken about that leak it in one man got a guy out to look at that the moon chicken on the moon I'm ready of my young by him who would be at home someone the hell of so one that I wrote a key when I watch and I like me to quite get us like him if you are going to have a good deal for a Sabo de ilan temu kan da ke ba wannan hukumar tarihi da ingan taladu ta jihar Kano kuma mun tabbata kun muna bada cikakken alƙawarin cewa za mu ci gaba da kare kanbi da kuma suna na gwamnati na jihar Kano gaba ki dai duk inda muka samu kanmu za mu samu za mu zama masu a'a masu kuma nemo wa Kano suna mun gode muka dai Allah mai da kuwa gida lafiya Kano tsohon gari ne mai dadaddan tarihi mai dauke da dimbin albarka ba wanda ya san lokacin da aka kafa shi sai dai hasashen masana ya tabbatar da cewa a ƙarshen karni na 19 an samu masarauta cikakkiya a wurin da ake kira Kano dan haka ake da hasashen wannan gari na Kano ya kai shekaru dubu da kafuwa a rana ta 6 wato Alhamis 25 ga watan Mayu shekara ta 2017 mai girma gwamnatin jihar Kano Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje Kadimul Islam shi da bakin sa gwamnoni biyu da suka zo daga Jamhuriyar Niger da mai martaba sarkin Kano Malam Muhammadu Sunusu na biyu sun duba aikin shatale talan da ke nuna cikar jihar Kano shekaru 50 wanda ke tsakanin gidan gwamnati da kan titulin Lojorot the brainchild of His Excellency when he inaugurated uh, 50. Now our, uh, we were split into subcommittees and our subcommittee was uh, 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 given the responsibility to, to, to design a limited design competition and uh, so that we could source ideas from young talents. Uh, that we did and we had nine uh, submissions all of which were in line with the transparency policy of the government. All the submissions were anonymous. We didn't know who they were because they all recorded numbers, not names. And to it's long tradition of art and culture. It's long tradition of art and culture, which despite glaring modernization has maintained its deep-rooted heritage. Visitors' time without number remember with nostalgia the colorful java, the traditional architecture, designs of its inner city buildings with intricate relief murals of designs passed on from generation to generation. These patterns are embedded in, it, in all aspects of our daily lives as they manifest in our Barbary gas, our Ascal views, our cups. We wear in fabric patterns where our calabash, pottery, metalwork, famous leather.
Tombe de Celebration. Members of the first ladies and gentlemen, especially the lady who won the competition for the design of this monument. This shows that in Kano State, women have come of age. We welcome you to this very important monument. We welcome you to this very historic occasion. You can recall that Kelsey. Haka zali kadai a wannan rana ta shida mai girma gwamna ya jagoranci bakin sa domin duba dumbun ayyukan alƙairi da gwamnatin sa ta gudanar a fadin jihar Kano Thank you. 